Welcome back to Max Reaction. Hopefully you're having a good day. I've had a good day here with my family. Um, took the baby to the doctor, trying to find out what he's allergic to because he's allergic to something. So hopefully there's good results to come back, but he's definitely allergic to something. Uh, but for now, we're going to react to the full interview from somebody from Brunigan City. Or at least they say they're from Brunigan City. Uh, my last video was actually about Brunigan City, the lost city or the hidden city of the Philippines in Samar. I don't know if you know anything about it, but if you do, let me know more about it. And if you haven't checked my last video out, go check it out. But for now, we're going to react to an interview to a citizen of Bernigan and see what they have to say. So this should be really interesting. Hopefully you stick around for the full interview. I know I'm going to and let's see what we can learn. I am from Biringan and Biringan. half of your story is fabricated by playful imagination. Oh yeah? Like you, we eat, sleep and die as well. The only difference between you and us is that we live longer than your life expectancy. And why do you live longer? That's what I want to know. What's the secret? <laughs> it is not true that we abduct people and left them dead allegedly, replacing their bodies with some dead log. Well, that's good. We speak a different language, but it's similar to the native tongue of the place we reside. Oftentimes, people may ask, Bakit di nila nakikita ang biringan? Well, it does exist, but spells are being chanted for us to remain hidden from the prying eyes of those who wanted to exploit our land. I don't really want to exploit your land. I just want to see your land. I want to see it for myself so I can believe it. Because seeing is believing and just hearing sometimes not. We invite mortals from your dimension, not necessarily pure of hearts like those fairy tales, but people whom we think can help us in some ways. In return, we reward them with prosper life. But isn't it true that I heard if you're invited and you go to the city, you're not allowed back out of the city? Or is that another fairy tale? I don't know. Maybe we'll learn. But before we return them to your dimension, we say a chant that will clear okay. the recollection of our place. Hours in our place could mean days in your time. Wow. We appreciate being a Fockler in your world and like all of you. We are also curious how advanced beings you are. In our place, we don't reject technology, but it's highly discouraged. We don't use your so-called electricity for we are given by our creator the greatest energy of all. The air around us and the sun is called in your world. Okay, <laughs> matapot. We are not murderers, contrary to the myths circulating in your world. Well, that's good to know that you're not murderers, because I definitely don't want to go try to scope out where Brunigan is and uh, get murdered. That would be probably a bad thing for my health. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering how can I use this technology in Biringan. Well, unfortunately, I'm not replying you from our land. Some Biringanons like me have privilege to cross your world, and some of us... Uh, some of our clans even study in your schools for us to learn more about you. So you're spies? We coexist in this so-called universe one way or another. Long before anything about technology, we are already in contact with some of the people in your world, teaching the right ways and how to achieve uh, nirvana like our society. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, the natures of some humans get in the way. Greed. We have given them a portion of our land. So you're blaming it all on the pure humans, okay. And none of it's the Brittigan citizenship's fault for anything that bad happens. It's only the pure humans' fault. No, I don't know. You sound like you're acting like you're perfect, and we all know nobody is perfect. Not even half-breed half alien Brittigan people. But what have they done? Queried for minerals, chopped down our trees, and so all, so on, all for money. We do so much desire to live with humans, but this incident made us aware that you are all not yet ready to embrace our ways. Hindi yan. Hindi namin alam ang prinsipyo ng pera at hindi rin namin naiintindihan kung bakit pa ito ang naimbento in the first place. Everything is made for us and given to us for free. And it is right to pay it forward to our co-brothers and sisters. Our world is not a dream world or paradise. We also encounter problems, as you humans do, but the difference is we are only in resolving conflicts. 
All I can say is that we are all made of same structure. Okay. Sure, we can wear or change our looks when we cross through a world, but we only wear one mask. It is not that we change as we please, but it is only a spell to enchant you to see us like an ordinary people. Oh, so you're not shapeshifters. You just are witches that throw spells on us. You throw a spell on us to forget. You throw a spell on us so we see you different. And you throw a spell on where we can't find your city. So that's a lot of spell throwing. I don't know if I like that or not. Natanorin siya to send a picture so that that is a proof that they are existed. Pwede po magtanong kung pwede po bang malaman kung saan yung portals niyo? I tried it so many times. Take a picture of myself to prove it to you all, but to no avail. Malagi siyang exposed. Magkaiba kasi yung light frequencies natin eh. Pag pumupunta kami dito sa mundo nyo eh, nag-e-emit ng aura ang katawan namin na hindi kayo handle ng pinakalatest na camera nyo. The level of quantum efficiency is great when sensors from your camera can handle how those photons uh, slash aura bombards it. Hmm. And there isn't enough time for those photons to be converted to electrons to record photos. So you're like vampires. You can't see a vampire in a mirror and we can't see you in a picture. I got it. I got it. I'm figuring it out. So as the standard ISO being used sa camera nyo can cope to compensate the amount of light even if the aperture is f slash 32. You know, we speak the native language to where our portals are located, but then again, some of us studied in your schools. That's why we know a lot about your dialects, as you may call it. <laughs> it's a big lie you people propagate. We don't worship him nor Seth, that he is in Bilingan. Magpatay na po ang tao, patay na po talaga yon. Even the likes of us also die, but then again, as what I said, we live longer than your life expectancy. How can we trust you, the person from Brunnigan that's getting interviewed? Are we supposed to just trust everything you say? That's my question to you. Should we trust it? Should we trust it? Or maybe some of our so-called lies aren't lies? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fair question, I think. Your grandfather is also not in our place unless someone from us begs for him for help and your grandpa agrees to help. Ano po bang kinakain nyo? Do you have food? Totoo po bang pag pumupunta sa inyo pinapakain nyo ng puti at itim na pagkain? At pag nakakain, totoo po bang di na makakabalik? Pwede po bang malaman some of your powers? Gusto ko lang po malaman. Yes, we also eat food, but the concept of food here is different from you. In our place, plants and animals are scared to us that it's forbidden to be eaten kung wala namang kasiyahan so na dapat ipagliwang. What do you eat? And it can't be avoided that we have to eat, so when it happens, we see to it that we replace whatever things we take away from Earth. Okay. When we cut trees, we automatically plant a seed to replace what is lost. When we butch an animal, we take away its heart, for we believe that the heart is where our soul resides. Okay. And elders give it ceremony, honoring them to give us abundance, and the cycle of life continues. Power is not power, as you may call it. We refer to it as abilities. Abilities. But it's only as good as the air you breathe. Pag pumupunta kami dito sa mundo nyo, we just bring spells that will leave us through the day. We are not in tune with your nature, kaya ibang mga abilidad namin ay gumagana lang pag andun kami sa lugar namin. Huh? Pero meron kaming nagagawa dito na hindi nyo kayang gawin sa mga normal na tao. Pwede kaming hindi kumain at uminom ng ilang linggo hanggang buwan. At pwede rin kaming pumunta kung saan namin gusto. Basta ba yung lugar nyo ay matapat sa por portal namin? At dun naman sa kanin na puti at itim, as I have said, we are not forcing people to stay in our place by choosing a black and white rice. People that got a chance to see our place are, are also free to leave. We just have to warn him that the time frame of our dimension differ from yours. That's why we have to erase your re relocation of our place. And you also said earlier that if we enter... It could be a few hours at your place, but a few days in our place. So what if I go and I'm in Brennigan for a whole year? Did I just miss 10 years of my life when I go back? 
have I aged while I was in there? Like, these are the questions I want to know. If we don't do that, magiging malaki ang problema niya. Because as soon as he comes back to your dimension, time. Iba sabi mo, bawal ka i-expose ang inyong kalahi. It is forbidden. Wala naman akong sinasabi na patungkol sa physical na kaanyuan ng mundo namin. What I revealed to all of you is only our culture. Though our culture is only a part of our world indeed. But I will never tell you the physical composition of our dimension just to satisfy your curiosity. Oh man! It will just draw some attention and it may ruin your thrill and excitement towards our place. I wanna Welcome know! Welcome to mga taong nakakabalik at nakakapagkwento about your place. Yes, we give some expectations, but only to those people who have been a big help to us in resolving some conflicts in our world. <sighs> I wanna know more! But not only we exempt them from chant, but we also offer some rewards such as the ability to heal your illness and better lives. Ooh, that's a good But reward. they must be careful not to divulge what they know, for we can easily track your whereabouts. That sounds like a threat. Trust and honesty is a big thing to us. People who leave our place without chant also leaves a connection to us. And if we sense that he break the bond, oh, no. my kind will cross your worlds to bring them back to our place for good. Oh, that is a threat. But don't you fret, my dear friends. I don't mean no harm nor install fear so, for you. Sound like this it. This is only a healthy conversation within us. I am not here to persuade what you should and shouldn't believe in. I so you're going to kidnap me if I tell your secrets and bring me to your home and not let me back. And you mean no harm? That's pretty damn harmful because then I would be away from my family. I don't like the way you're thinking. I am not also here to change what you believe in our standard about us. Some of us may laugh or even judge me as fake, but what I bring is far more important than pretty whims. I am here to tell you to stop and wake up from your wrongdoings. Mahalin yung pamilya niyo. good message right there, Nanay, that tatay, part. kapatid, asawa, anak, at lahat ng taong mahalaga sa inyo. Namnamin niyo ang bawat minuto what oras na linalagi ninyo. Hold your children closer than before and make yes. them feel that they are loved. Absolutely. Honor and respect your parents. Absolutely. Give them the love that they deserve. Absolutely. Sinasabi ko ito para maiwasan ng isang malakas na pagtangis kapag bumigay siya, kakalaban para sa inyo. Kung meron lang sana akong magagawa, pero ang nakatakda ay nakatakda. Kung kaya ko lang sana sabihin sa inyo lahat-lahat ng nalalaman ko, subalit ito ay magdadala lamang ng takot at balisa. But above all this, never stop to hope. For this will always be the one word that can make a difference for all of you. Maupay nga gabi. There's some good advice. In Thank you for watching and... There's some good advice in there, but... We learned a little bit, but there's a whole vast world that we didn't learn of... What do they do other than who, who, we know who they are because they just told us if it's the truth. But why are they there? Where did they come from? How do they live? What do they, what do they believe in? Questions like that. Give us another interview. We need another interview. We need to learn more if this is a true, true tall tale of the Philippines. I don't know. I guess I'll leave that for you to decide and I'll have to decide for myself. But anyway, what's your question to them if you had a question in an interview? What would you ask them? That's my question to you. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Peace, love, happiness. Spread it around the world.